Hi, Dominica here from easysewingforbeginners.com. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you how you can hem pants using the straight stitch on your sewing machine. Now, for any time during the video you want to time hop to a different part of the video, then just check the description box down below and I'll have some links to different parts of the video there for you. Now, if you want to hem dress pants using the blind hem stitch, then I've made a different video for that. And if you don't have a sewing machine at all and you want to hem pants by hand, then I've created a video for that as well. Okay, so let's get going with how to hem pants using the straight stitch with your sewing machine. Okay, so to hem your pants, you will need your pair of pants, of course. You will need a ruler, a pair of scissors, a pen or chalk or something to mark the pants with. You need some pins, some thread in the matching colour to your pants. You will need um, an iron, but it's not completely essential. Um, you'll also need your sewing machine with a standard foot attached. And if you have a friend that can help you or a mirror, to look into that would be helpful as well. Okay, so I'll be demonstrating on a simple pair of um, stretchy knit fabric pants, but you can do these on um, any type of pants or skirt that you want really. So I recommend pre-washing the pants first, just in case there is any shrinking. Next thing you need to do is pop the pants on and make sure you're wearing a pair of shoes that you would wear um, with them normally. Okay, and next thing you'll need to do is find the length that you want the pants to be. So I recommend folding the fabric up um, on the outside of the pant legs till you find the right length that you want. So I've done that here and I've popped a pin just in place just to hold it until I can get to the next step. Okay, so if you've got a friend who can do that, put the pin in for you, then great. Um, you might need to do it yourself and just check it out in the mirror just to make sure you've got the length that you want. Okay so here's the pin that I placed in the back of the pant leg and this is where I want the new bottom of the pant leg to be. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out how much I've turned the pant leg up by and I'm going to make sure that that's turned up evenly all the way around and I'm going to place a few pins in there just to keep it all even. So from the old bottom of the pant leg to the new bottom of the pant leg is about two and a quarter inches for me. So I'm going to go around and make sure it's turned up two and a quarter inches all the way around. Okay, so I've pinned all the way around and it's turned up evenly. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out um, how wide I want my new hem to be and then I'll need to add a little bit onto that because what we're going to do is we're going to tuck the raw edge under to hide that away and stop it from fraying. Now if you don't understand what that means now, hopefully you will as we work through the tutorial. So I've decided that I want my new hem to be three quarters of an inch wide, okay, and then I'm going to add on about half an inch to allow for tucking under. Okay, so all together, I need to allow um, one and a quarter inches uh, for to, to secure my new hem. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go around and mark all the way around. You might like to grab your pen. Um, you should be able to see your pen lines. You'll probably find it hard to see mine, so I'm just gonna grab some chalk and I'm just going to mark my lines with chalk. So I'm going to do one and a quarter inches all the way around. Now if you find that um, your new um, hem needs to use some of the fabric that's in your existing hem, you may find that you'll need to unpick that so you can um, use it. Might be a bit unfortunate, but sometimes that's just what you have to do. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention is just make note of um, how much you're going to allow for your new hem and your bit that you're turning under, just so you can repeat the steps on, your, on the next leg as well. Okay, so now that I've marked all the way around, I can remove the pins and I'm going to turn the pants inside out.
Okay, so now my pants are inside out. I'm ready to cut off this excess fabric that I don't need. Okay, for some people this can be the scary part. Okay, so now I've finished cutting off the excess fabric on my pant leg. Um, I've got my iron and my ironing board ready to go to create my new hem. So when I was measuring up um, what I needed for my new hem, I allowed one and a quarter inches for my new hem. So that's three quarters of an inch for my actual hem and then half an inch for turning under. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it up by one and a quarter inches. Just measure that just to make sure I've got that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to iron a crease at the bottom and that will, that will help my hem stay the width that I want it to be. Okay. So I'm going to go and do that all the way around. Okay, so I've ironed all the way around. Now I allowed half an inch for tucking my raw edge under. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to tuck under about half an inch so I have about three quarters of an inch left and it's just a little bit more okay so that looks good once you've got it the way you want pop a pin in there to hold it in place and then keep on going all the way around now if you're using a stretchy type knit fabric like I am, it might pay to use a few more pins. And I'm just going to guesstimate now. I can kind of see the width that it is. So now my hem is all prepped and ready to be taken over to the sewing machine and sewn. Okay, so I have my machine all set up with my matching thread colour for my pants. Um, I have it set on a straight stitch with um, about a 2.4 stitch length. Okay, if you can remove this part of your sewing machine so you can use the free arm feature, then that is awesome, especially when you're sewing smaller um, pant legs okay we need to do I like to start on the inside leg seam of the pants I'm going to place it over the arm of the sewing machine there and we're going to end up sewing our stitch line I'm going to aim for about um, maybe an eighth of an inch or two millimeters away from this top fold line here okay so I'll try and um, zoom in a bit so you can see what I'm doing all right so I'm going to place the pant leg under the presser foot and I like to use um, a spot on the presser foot as a guide so I'm going to be lining up this top edge of my fold here with the inside part of the foot right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my needle over a tad. It's a bit hard for me to see because I can't get really close to my sewing machine, but I'm about an eighth of an inch or a couple of millimeters away from the top there. Okay, so I'm going to put my needle in the down position, I'm going to sew three or four stitches forward. And press the wrong button. I'm going to do a reverse stitch just to secure that stitching in there. 
Okay, and then off I go. Just put the camera back so you can see what I'm doing nicely. Okay, these bulky seam parts can be a little bit tricky to get under the presser foot. So what I like to do is with the needle in the down position, um, sometimes money to lift the presser foot up and just push that bulky seam under the presser foot a bit just to try and encourage it through there. Okay, so I've gone all the way around now. So I'm going to do my back stitch just, just to secure that in there. Okay, and that leg is pretty much done. Okay, so you can see there is my new hem. So if I turned it out the right way, that's what it looks like from the other side. Okay, so you just need to repeat that with the other leg and you will have a nicely hemmed pair of pants that are just right for your height. Don't forget to check out the Easy Sewing for Beginners shop at www.easysewingforbeginners.com and click on the blue button at the top of the website to find all of my free Easy Sewing projects and how-to PDFs for download. If you'd like to say a little thank you by purchasing a $1 thank you edition of any of the PDFs then that would be greatly appreciated as well. You will also find the blue button at the top of the page on mobile devices as well. So don't forget to click the thumbs up button if you like this video, leave a comment down below and if you want more easy sewing projects and how to videos then hit the big red subscribe button right there on your screen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Happy sewing!